All right, should be recording. And as it says in the corner there, and you may be able to figure out just by looking at it, I'm in Doom Eternal. Now, unfortunately, things are a little wonky here. Uh, for one thing, I'm on the test system. Not on the desktop, because Doom Eternal, and hang on just a second, I think I can do... Yes, okay. I don't need that in my head while I'm trying to talk. Um, probably you don't need it either. Uh, so... Actually, I should just turn down the headphones. Alright, so Doom Eternal uses the id Tech 7 engine, which is using Vulkan, and it does perform very nicely and looks very good. However, OBS Studio doesn't really want to hook into Vulkan. It hasn't figured out how to do that yet. Um, and it also um, just did not want to work with it, basically. I, I could not get video. But I wasn't going to let that disrupt my review. I decided I'm not going to just like go to the test system and just review on that. Because it's a first-person shooter that should be fast-paced. It's awkward pl trying to play a game, game on the test system. So I decided, okay, I'll review it on the desktop. I will then replay it on the test system, which is what I'm going to do now. And record it now. But I've already written the review, so as far as the review playthrough stuff, don't have that. This would technically be a Let's Play Plus, especially since I am taking advantage of the fact that I've already played the game, I have uh, got every weapon, I have also managed to unlock every upgrade for the weapon, every upgrade for the suit, every upgrade period, and also I have every cheat code and I am going to use some. Okay? The game does have some issues, in my opinion, concerning pacing for health and uh, ammo drops, so I'm going to use the cheat codes to address that. <laughs> um, there's some other issues as well, uh, the Marauder enemy, the... Red Glow for buffs, that, that is actually a very serious, serious issue. I do not know why they let it go live with something like that. I mean, I just, because to me, there should have been somebody that said, you know, these look similar and it's going to confuse people. Or they are the same and it's going to confuse people. Either way, that should have been a, yeah, we don't want to confuse people. But it went live anyway. When we get to that, that's, um, uh, that'll be here where that comes up. Um, but, yeah, it, it's the Marauders come up here, and I'll talk about them at that point. But the, legitimately, though, as much as I complain about the game in the review, it is a fun game. It really is a fun game. I am replaying it. I very rarely replay a game after I review it because I move on to the next thing. Or it's like I, I've focused enough on that. I don't want to play it again right now. I'm playing this game again right now. So as much as I made doing this and in that in the written review complain about this game and certain aspects of it, I'm enjoying it and I'm playing it again. You need to keep that in mind. Um, couple up. Oh, hang on. Let me pull up the cheat codes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have on infinite lives and infinite ammo. But we do have some other things. I don't need all runes. I've already unlocked them all. I don't need... Is that it? I don't need that. I've already unlocked all of them myself. You can forcibly unlock the master. You, you can get a token and uh, to unlock the mastery level for the weapons without needing to do this special ta challenge thing. I did that, though, so take that. Uh, that I've upgraded. I I've done all that on my own. The rest are actually, like, cheat mode things. I don't want to do this because it is kind of neat, but um, to see the confetti, but it's just a I'm... This is you know, supposed to be, like, a legit playthrough-ish visually. You know, it's going to be Let's Play Plus, not just me doing the body and games recording with the heart rate. That is currently going. Um, so it's like, if it were just that, if it were just a heart rate recording, yeah, I'd do this because it's funny. But uh, I'm not I can do it just now. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to do this. But no, because I want you to, to see how the situation is at the moment. Hopefully that changes. And there are ways that I, I do firmly believe that there are ways they could tweak the health and ammo drops to make it uh, better paced. They just haven't done that. All right. Um, one other thing. I don't have to say a queue is provided by anyone because it wasn't. I purchased the game. So if anyone's wondering, hey, d does he need to say it? No, I don't. In fact, I purchased the... Um, I pre-ordered it and got the deluxe edition, so I will be getting DLC, but I also have... This skin, so you get some skins by playing, 
you unlock, but Demonic Slayer is limited to the Deluxe Edition, and I don't mind showing that off. I also got this, which is unlocked in the game. These as well. Sentinel. The Sentinel and the Classic Doom Moon are both... I can actually show you where I got those, and... Yeah, the Praetor as well. I can show you where, where you get those. But okay, let's turn the audio back on and actually get into this. So yeah, it is gonna... I'll probably do like what I did with the Metro Exodus playthrough, by the way, where I will um, have a version without the hard rate overlay and a version with. And I'm also gonna do one video per level, even though some of them, I think those levels are like two hours long. Well, at least when not playing with infinite ammo and infinite lives. Okay, so audio is coming back. Uh, yeah, just turning that the headphones down help. Um, so I will do this. It is kind of nice that you can go straight to the level if you want, but I'll just load it into this first. And there is some spoiler kind of stuff here, like the fact that it's red instead of blue. It will make sense as we play, even though not all the story stuff will be gone through. A lot will be. Alright, um... So... This is like that. Oh, and by the way, this is... It's funny, because I'm on the RTX 2060. Here's the classic suit. You unlock it back here. You need to spend two Sentinel power cells to get it. I'm trying to remember where... Uh, it's over these. I'm just trying to remember the... The Fortress of Doom does get a little confusing. Um... Uh, no, this is... I need to go through here. Um... And there was some... Oh, yeah, yeah, the 20... The 2060. Which, yes, it is higher performance than the RX 580 I used to review on the desktop. That's what's there. Um, but the... Uh, my 580 has 8 gig of memory. This has 6 gig, so I can't have the texture pool size turned up all the way, but... Okay, so this is the Praetor suit. And you would just come over here, you have to spend the two Sentinel cores, which aren't that hard to get. I was like, I've got one left over, I've literally opened up every single one. And they all take two. Um, but yeah, when you get, when you find an album, an album collectible, that's how they're played. Um, but yeah, it was weird going through the different quality settings because it basically was I, it, I was having a very hard time spying difference very hard between low and ultra nightmare um oh wait no I'm on ultra I'm not running on nightmare so I I want to make sure that it that the performance is, is solid and I do have it set to use triple buffering which doesn't need to uh and here's the sentinel armor uh, and same deal to the cores. Um, but yeah, so you will see in the upper right corner the frame rate counter because I didn't disable that from the Steam overlay. Um, but uh, I, I have the triple buffering enabled, so there shouldn't be any screen tearing captured. And it's also weird because like triple buffering exists to decouple refresh rate and uh, the game engine performance, and yet they have it capped. That's not how trip. That's not why triple buffering exists. So it is kind of confusing to me, but whatever. All right. But yeah, so it's like I want it to look good, but I also do want it to perform. So I'm gonna play this. Oh, let me actually do one. Thing. Can I do it here? Yes. <clears throat> Easy, medium, hard, and then nightmare. Um. I tried to play as much of the of the review as I could on hard, but some of it I did have to drop down to hurt me plenty, and in some cases, I had to go down too easy, because there's some things that are not well balanced. Uh, primarily one one thing, the Marauder. Feel pain in. Um, but because I'm cheating, and it's another playthrough, that it's like I'm going to go through the whole thing, you know, yeah, I'm going to set that up to Nightmare, and I am not going to change that. I cannot permanently die, and I cannot run out of ammo, so I just should play it on the hardest difficulty is my opinion. Alright, so, let's get into it. Now, fortunately, all of the cutscenes 
before and after every level will still play. So that I don't have to worry about. But some of the stuff that you're told when you get back to the Fortress of Doom where we just were, that's going to be absent. I can tell you what's going on, though. I think. I remember most. Most of it. Not necessarily. Against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce. We will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Alice Marinara Sun Mall. That's that's what it is. The largest canyon in the solar system. Like the Grand Canyon is very, very much dwarfed by. Did we do something to the moon in Doom 2016, by the way? I don't remember. It's just shattered here. And I don't know why. So this is just setting up that Earth has been invaded by demonic hordes, and it's it's bad. And there's the Fortress of Doom. Please, anyone, if you can hear me, if you're out there. And he does have a face. Who knew? Attempting to acquire the Hell Priest signal. So a lot is going on right now is being shown to us with no explanation, by the way. It is a weak start to the story. The story does get good, though. It, I genuinely got interested in this story. So, and before halfway, but it's just... It's a very bad start for the story. Well, very weak start. I shouldn't say that, just very weak. Yeah, because it's like never explained. How did he get the Fortress of Doom? Where did it come? Well, we kind of get an idea of where it came from, but it's just Somebody! yeah. Please, 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 it does feel like we're thrown in partly through the story. I don't want to use that gun. So this is the shotgun. I'm going to try to keep to just the weapons that um, that I would have at the time. So this thing, which is a variant of, well, kind of a variant of this, oh, the BFG, would not be acceptable. Um, not in this level, in a different one though, um, we can see what, uh, how you get that, that weapon, and it is a nice weapon. Um, to do that, and actually, okay, yeah, so, let's see, I found all the collectibles, so I don't know which ones I would be able to see or even get to where they were again, because I don't necessarily remember. There was... We can see there... Oh, just... There. So it would have to be over... Ah, yes. So, bust through that wall, come down here, and get health. That's what that is, and come up here, you'd find a secret, and that gate would open up. The secret isn't there to trigger the gate open. I'm probably not going to do that for many of the secrets. Um, especially since I'm pretty sure I do have all. Oh, let's get that armor. Yeah, if you want to get armor without just finding it, that's what you need to do. Use a flamethrower, it's just... I, I so often forget I even have a flamethrower. It, it's and I go into that interview. It's really not that well handled in my opinion. 
Okay, so I would have unlocked a weapon mod, and what I had unlocked before was this sticky grenades. Okay, I do need to make a change. Uh, here. Let's see how. Because it's just I, I. It's very uncomfortable how I have to use the mouse on the test system, so increasing that sensitivity is going to make it a little easier for me. Okay, that was a blood punch, in case you were wondering. Wow, this is so awkward. But I'm willing to do it, because I cannot be killed. Well, no, I can't kill, just not be killed, just not going to. You know what? Oh, wrong one. The other mod for the combat shotgun is full auto. A little easier to control just now. I would recommend though the between the two going for the grenades. Where where are you today? Um, because that ability to stick enemies, because the fodder class enemies, which that's all we had in here, are basically all one hit with the um. Oh, I'm turning. Um, with it, but it's I'm powerful enough right now that I don't need to worry about one hitting enemies. So I'll probably use the uh, the full auto. Data, this is when I'd start. The first Hell Priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two Hell Priests remaining. So this particular one, he is his barge and would have a Titan carry, but now that he's dead, it looks like Titan is deciding, yeah, no. Can't really blame him. Alright, so with this, I would have gotten the other, the, um, the other upgrade for this, so I would now have full auto. I don't know why. I guess it's just how I'm, how I'm using the keyboard on my lap. It's just awkward enough that I'm pressing the wrong button there. But see, like right now, this is. Oh, I did not mean to fall, but that's okay. Didn't actually need to do that, but that's fine. I th yes, I do have something that increases the speed of the swapping. Okay, so yeah, I do want to mention the flamethrower, which technically I don't have unlocked yet. And that that you get after completing this mission, but it is. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, so he's a heavy guy. Which, we wouldn't hold it here, but see that turret on his back? We can destroy just that, see? And that shuts off his long range attacks, the game says, but here, yeah, let me get far enough away so I'll we'll actually start doing it. Oh, come on. 
He also has mortars. And he'll just pull those out and start using them. Let's just get some health that way. It's not much. Void kills, I think, still give more. Oh, yeah. But it, it's... You, you will find yourself constantly out of health. And yes, this is on Nightmare, but ultra-violent is also... You, you will always run out of health. And unfortunately, glory kills are hard to always trick. Because like that time, that guy took two hits, but sometimes you will uh, kill these guys in just one shot from the shotgun. So that thing is, if you played a uh, the previous Doom game, that that's the, uh, um, see, like, how that, it was one shot to kill. So if I needed health from him, I'd be in trouble. And th that is a problem that this game has. You may think it's not that big a problem, that's fine, I think it is a more significant problem, but it is a problem. Um, so that is this. You can only have this set up with the mod for a scope, but there's also uh, micro missiles, which is just like the, the machine gun in um, Doom 2016, but it is called the Heavy Cannon. Not entirely sure why, but that's what it's called. Uh, that's what the auto map, the level map, looks like. It is closed up, though, because I already have it, but yeah. So let's... Oh, yeah, the that. So, the sticky bombs, you can unlock five shot for that when you hit the mastery, which is actually that, that it's called an arachnotron, that heavy guy that I chainsawed earlier, that I blew the turret off. You unlock the five spot by, uh, I think it's 15 of them. You blow off those turrets using the sticky grenade. Um, use the heavy can. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I still have one more pinky to kill. That's eh, fine. Um, so, here's the heavy cannon with the precision bolt. And increase the precision, increase the loading speed. The micro missiles, though, I could just keep firing. That's why I'm not using it. That's, that's going to be a bit much at the moment. Um, plasma rifle, heat blast, microwave beam. But as you can see, I have these all mastered except for that one that's. I just need to get to a pinky, which will be introduced in Super Gornas. Uh, rocket launchers, shotgun. Yeah. Is it just me? I don't care much for the super shotgun in either game. It just... The shotgun seems more versatile. Anyhow, uh, the ballista, which... Uh... Had a different name. It was like the railgun. Something like that. I liked it in Doom. 2016. But now it's the ballista. Uh, the chain gun, which... Chain gun's always fun. Uh, the BFG, and then the Unmaker. Huh. Ah, didn't know that. The longer the projectile fly, the more damage the tendrils will do. <laughs> I mean, it hardly matters. The BFG is still gonna one-shot most everything. Not everything, but plenty. Yeah, that Marauder enemy I talked about, that's such a pain in the ass. You'll see why when we get there. Can't want to hit that with anything. It's like, we have the BFG, we have the Crucible Sword, which can also one-hit things, like the uh, Tyrant. Giant Tyrant, that can get one-hit by stuff. No, not the Marauder. Yeah, you get little UAC messages. Which is another thing that's never fully explained. Or I, I may just not remember some of it, but it... I wonder if there is some retconning. I suspect that there is for Vega and uh, Samuel Hayden. Who do we still have down here? Man, this 
This has gotten more powerful. <laughs> Because that explosion is what happens when I get a headshot now because of the mastery. But it seemed like I was missing and still blowing people up. Okay, where's the last one? I hear you. There you are. Oh, it's one of these guys. Yes, yeah, so this is... Oop, I missed. Uh, I know I saw health about... Take a moment to... And I don't think I took it. There. Why 49? Where did it go? Okay, did it despawn? I, I don't know. Oh, there's more health right here. But yeah, it, it just died. Do that. There. Now here's an, a secret. Get a one up there. So I have unlimited of those, but um, if you find those, then you can use those. Oh, there's a Titan carrying a barge. I wonder if that's the same one. How many Titans are they? It just sure seems like there's, in some of the Codex stuff, there's supposed to be not many. And that's a um, human made weapon that was for fighting demons, but as you can tell, humanity not doing so hot at the moment. Oh, yeah. The. Here we go. There we go. damaging weapon. I've never... I, I can't recall ever killing anything using it. But enemies that are uh, damaged while it's on fire by the flamethrower will drop armor. But as I said, it's not that... it's not all that useful. Um, and I'm also using uh, the ice grenades, which enemies that are frozen by them and this is something you actually have to unlock. Uh, oop. Oop. Yeah, you shoot a grenade, well, shoot a sticky grenade in there, they eat it, and then a staggered, so you can kill them much more easily. And I also want to point out, I have double the health. You start off with only 100. I'm at 250 uh, armor. I think I'm at 150 as my math. Just to give you an idea of some of what you can expect with. Probably just you. That's fuel for the chainsaw. And I also should point out, my playstyle right now would be very different if it wasn't for the unlimited ammo. 
because you do run out of ammo very quickly, especially since I also have fully upgraded ammo. This, the shotgun has 16 shots by default. Um, and the only reliable way of getting ammo then, because you can't, it's not paced. There is no ammo casing to the fight designs. Like they don't make sure there's enough ammo there or there to get you through this fight. Um, and it doesn't regenerate in. I mean, it really... I don't remember those problems in 2016 game. Maybe they were there and I just don't remember. Um, but yeah, it, it's... And also same, same deal with health, so... There. Now, Chainsaw will also drop some health, but a glory kill is much more efficient. It's just much more unreliable. Yeah, it, it, it's... UAC would like to thank you for your support during this transition. Your suffering continues to inspire us. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I, I have a feeling that, because I've already seen that a lot of reviewers, like a lot of review scores, I don't look at other reviews until I finish reviewing, and then I might not look Um, scoring very highly, it's like, I can understand this being scored well, but, I'm sorry, th there were design issues. The, the lack of health and ammo pacing is one that should not let it be as high as it is. Um, Storytelling is not a, not a strength. Okay, this took me so long to figure out. Um, and I'm doing it wrong. Um, now I also got an itch. Okay. Um, so there is a secret a cheat code specifically, right up there. I don't remember how... Wait, no, that's the way I just came. That's right, it's right here. It took me so long to realize that obvious, to see the obvious thing that I actually looked it up. Oh, that did open up, okay. Um, and saw somebody and it's like, it was there the whole time. I felt stupid. By the way, you will notice, like it did it there, it's done for other enemies, they take visual damage where they lose flesh and such. It's a neat visual thing. See, like right there, it happened. The problem is that it is not an indication of their actual health left. It's like, I, I have had enemies, uh... Aeons of Hell, I believe it is? Yep. No, there. Accidentally hit the tilde key. Um. So that's that guy. Cacodemon. Haven't gotten to them yet, or them. Here, the Hell Knights? I've had one where literally it has no muscles left on its arms, none on its legs, its ribs are exposed, and its head was even... Well, I guess its skull is always showing, but it, it was all damaged. And it's still discharging me, attacking, it still took plenty of shots to actually kill. Baby. Oh, that. There is one enemy though. I'm trying to. This guy, I can take down with one hit. This guy. Yeah, it must be this guy. There is an enemy that you can blow off the flesh on, and they are just glowing orange under. Like fire. And it's shaped like it's built like a Hell Knight. But a Hell Knight breaks up differently. A Dread Knight, I've also seen, it looks like it breaks up differently too, so I can't quite figure out what it is. It's not. Uh. It's not this guy, I think. No, maybe it is. Well, no, because I don't. I don't know. But this guy is very. There's, there's a problem with him. It's not so much with him, though, it's. 
that's the whole they they did they did something to the design that game developers should know no you don't you don't do this. But that's the Terrace Nabod thing, so it'll be a bit before, before we see that. By the way, I shouldn't even have grenades. No, I might have grenades. The frag grenades at this point. I, I don't remember. They're definitely not ice grenades. Those would be unlocked later. That, that I don't care quite so much about having accuracy for. You know what? I would be able to do that and get the help. Couple guys will jump in there. Just to show that that's how you get it. And I do have something that makes those faster. The glory kill. Um, glory kill faster. Greater control in air and uh, hit by the blood punch shockwave. Uh, they drop health. There's also glory kills from further away. Speed boost after a glory kill. Don't need that. I definitely don't need this since I have the unlimited lives. Uh, how long they stay staggered? That can actually come handy. Um, I don't need to worry about that one, but this is just the equipment like the grenades and flamethrower to recharge faster. Oh yeah, this actually, for getting headshots, comes in handy, but the recharge on it takes so long. There you go. Did he fall back down? Huh. Alright. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately this would take six ammo. So I would have been through my ammo already trying to snipe these guys like that. Alright. As I recall... It will be an arachnid showing up. I'm very surprised I haven't already seen. Definitely times it came over to me. Ah, so that's what happens when you die and have an extra life. Which I found two, so true I am overpowered with other stuff, but that that cheat code, the infinite lives cheat code, is more a guarantee is more, more just security, whereas the uh, 
infinite ammo is much more a I don't want to play this without the infinite ammo. The con maker is nearby. Yeah, and drink more. She's inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. So I just want to quickly address that all we really know and understand is Earth has been invaded by demons. We don't know who this con maker is. We don't know what's up with the priests, except they're tied to the corruption. We don't know what's up with the Fortress of Doom. We don't know who King Novik is, the guy who was talking earlier. We, we really, there's a lot we do not know. This is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. I don't remember, but I want to say that there's uh, no more fighting. Uh, yeah, so quick cover this. Unfortunately, this only unlocks at a time like this, but you can like go back to get any collectibles you you missed at this point in the level. This isn't. Yeah, you know, I didn't have access to this because of me playing the level. It's you get access to it by just getting this far when playing the level. So it's not nearly as useful fast trap was as in some other games. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Fortunately, I get to go to her domain and kill her. How can this be? No man can pass through the gate! It is this stops nothing! The sacrament of this world to the great Khan Maker will be... I, I kind of want to point out, I want these two dead, Doomguy does. They're both here and he does nothing. From the souls of the non-believers! You will not save them from their judgment. It took him that long to finally threaten them. Come on. You go too far this time. You cannot interfere. This is humanity's chance to repent, to give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the con maker. Activating That's what you think. Now. For it was you. All that does end up being explained, it just won't be for a while, and that is why this game does start with a pretty weak story. But it really does get to... Oh wait, uh... Yeah, so it's, you can't advance to the next mission when you go back to replay them like this. Um... So, you know, I always have to go, come back here, and uh, enter the mission slot. That was Hell on Earth. That's this first video, so I'm going to stop it. Uh, oh. I did not mean to do that. I bumped a button. Hang on. I, I can't get out of this. Hang on. Against all the evil that hell can conquer. Now we get to meet him at least in the next all level. All the wickedness that mankind um, can produce, we will send unto them. Because what gets explained is, and I don't remember if this. This may have been when at Fortress of Doom, so I wouldn't see it. The Con Maker has hidden the priests now, so you need to. Uh, um, and so you need to get a piece of equipment to help you track them down, and that's where we actually get to meet, uh, King Novik and some other stuff about the Sentinels, and, yeah, but it's, it's still not well explained there when we're doing it. Alright, so, yeah, anyway, covered that stuff, so the next one is this, and, hang on, I just want to see, yes, it does say next, Okay. So yeah, I will stop this and then start it going again for this next level. See you for that.